Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about NADH, NADPH and FADH2. So first we will see NAD and NADH. Here NAD plus and NADH. NAD plus is the oxidized form and NADH is the reduced form. NAD plus This is the oxidized form and here it is a reduced form and these both these are interconvertible. NAD plus is a derivative of vitamin B5 that is niacin. NAD plus is known as nicotinamide, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And it is a coenzyme which is used in different reactions. Normally, these are found in mitochondrial system. Mitochondrial system. This NADH, NAD plus and NADH, these are found in mitochondrial system. So, when we describe about the reaction in mitochondria, we will use NAD and NAD plus and NADH. So, it is a derivative of vitamin B5 or niacin. We have numerous uh, sources of this NADH in our body like glycolysis, then uh, TCA cycle, then uh, fatty acid oxidation that is cyclization reaction etc. These are the main sources of this NADH in our body. Then this NADH will go to electron transport chain and it will give 2.5 ATP. So, NADH is meant to produce ATP in oxidative phosphorylation. So, that is about NAD plus and NADH. Next, we will see FAD and FADH2. FAD and FADH2. This FAD, it is flavin adenine dinucleotide, flavin adenine dinucleotide. FADH2, it is the major electron carrier in oxidation of fuel molecule. FAD will also go to eat, uh, electron transport chain and it will give 1.5 ATP. This FAD is a derivative of vitamin B2 that is riboflavin. Riboflavin. This FADH2, this is another, um, also another uh, major electron carrier in oxidation of fuel molecule. It will go to ETC and it will give 1.5 ATP. So, basically NADH and FADH2, this they, these two are take part in the formation of ATP through electron transport chain. Then this FAD has a more positive reduction potential than NAD plus. FAD has more positive reduction potential than this NAD plus and it is a very strong oxidizing agent. This FAD is a very strong oxidizing agent. Then this FAD dependent proteins function in a large variety of metabolic pathways including electron transport, DNA repair, then nucleotide biosynthesis, nucleotide biosynthesis, then beta oxidation of fatty acid, then amino acid, uh, amino acid catabolism, etc. It is also a part of TCA cycle. So, that is about FAD and FADH2. Next, we will see NADP and NADPH. 
NADP plus and NADPH. This is oxidized form and this one is reduced form. This NADP plus and NADPH which is differed from this NAD plus and NADH. Only the difference is presence of phosphate group. Here NADP is the oxidized form and NADPH is the reduced form. NADP plus is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. This NADPH is produced from HMP pathway. HMP pathway. This is the major source of NADPH in our body. There are other uh, two main, uh, two minor sources. These are malic enzyme and cytosolic isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme. These are the minor sources of this NADPH. Major source is HMP pathway. Minor sources are malic enzyme and isocitrate dehydrogenase. Cytosolic isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme. This NADPH which has no role in the formation of ATP. May, and the main function of this NADPH is it maintains glutathione in its reduced form. Glutathione in its reduced form. That is a major function. It is also used in anabolic pathways like fatty acid synthesis, then uh, cholesterol synthesis, bile acid synthesis, then steroid synthesis, etc. That is anabolic pathways. Then NADPH is also responsible for generating free radicals. Free radicals in immune cells. That is about NADP plus and NADH, NADPH. So this is all about NADH, NADPH and FADH2. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.